Hello everyone. So today I am going to uh, work on how to save and load actor attributes. That means here we have the health level and down here we have stamina and also up here we have the character level, skill points and the experience points bar. So if I press home everything will be saved including the status of the skill tree but these were already working what is not working was the saving and loading of this actor attributes now here make note of this uh, I have this much of health if I press home everything is saved now if I play the game again now you see my level is loaded properly skill points are loaded properly and the health level is loaded properly so base actor attributes are saving and loading properly so that's what we are going to work on today in case you are not sure what i meant by base actor attributes uh, those are the attributes that i'm using to uh, save the you for the status of the character along with gameplay ability system basically like variables but they work with gameplay ability system right before we get started here you can see the full playlist i have shared it in my channel for free you can watch all the episodes for free and implement everything by yourself and yeah feel free to check it out and also here is my patreon page you can download all project files of all the projects that I have done in my channel from the Patreon page. Once you become a member, you can access anything without any limit. So, feel free to check it out. I'll leave the links to everything in the description below. And now, let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so right now, in our save and load system, let me just grab some gear and press form now character saved now if i play again now you see i have the character uh, here restored so this will also restore the skill points as well the skills that we have activated as well right now i didn't have any skills activated so it's not activated anything but it will activate the skills uh, it will also restore that means load from the save file the skills as well but what i am not saving and loading is uh, base actor attributes that means this health level stamina level this um, character's level and skill points and experience points so those are the two those are the things that i am not saving and loading right now okay so let's look into that now for that let me go to base character here save save character data a little bit save character data so here you see i get all the grounded abilities and save them that's basically all i'm saving and that is in this sv character save file right so i want to save the characters act attributes as well for that i'll create a variable attribute map uh, so this should be a map because I need to set have the attribute and the value plot attribute map okay now uh, maybe I should add sequence here to make things clear Maybe 
and I will do the right into the same. Connect this. So here, now this is the save file I create. I set abilities and collectibles, and then I just save. So let me get some space here. I set uh, a right now i haven't figured out what are the attributes so let me promote this to a local variable let's call it now here i'll we can do this ability system component get all at reviews and we can run a storage loop for this now this can be connected here like this right and then we can find the value okay which um, value pass this now if this is found this is found we can add this to our attribute map This should be the key. And this should be the value. Okay. Now we have a way to save this. And next step is loading this, but I couldn't find a function that I can uh, directly set attribute values from the blueprint. So therefore, we're gonna have to go into Visual Studio C++ part uh, side of our project. Right now here. let me right here is the character header file here and a function function actually this should be low print I'll name this void load. So here I need to pass a T map FKM attributes and plots. So I'll call this the attributes. Let's implement this. Right. So here is the function implementation. So okay. It already given me a position. But this is not what I need. I'll add I do need a for loop but instead of an auto 
I will make this a E pair from the type M attribute. is good but I don't need to see the right uh, this yeah and then if game yeah right this is good and then we can uh, Set this value. We will just see in this function. Mm. Apply mode to attribute. Attribute e gameplay mode override and value. Yeah, this is this is exactly what I need. Okay, so this this function should uh, override the base actor attributes. So now save this, go back here, hit compile. Okay. Compiled. Uh, now, check if the function is there. Yeah, load attributes, it's there. So now let's go to Load character data, which is this function. So here, first I apply all the abilities and the collectibles. Here also, let's do sequence. So it's clear what's going on. should come after this and at the end I'll add attributes and we can get load attributes from this Get attribute map. Okay, now to test this. Okay, so here my character level is zero. It's my level now. My character level is one, and I also to see the XP point is here. I got two skill points. Now let me just get some damage so that we can make sure damage also restores. Okay. This should be actually enough to test. Yeah. Okay. Now press home. Character saved. Now load again. look like it worked oh actually here this worked see it worked but the health level why didn't it work actually I think my health level is actually uh, updated, but it's just the health bar is not updating. So I think 
we can this a function update her. this is called on update health all right maybe this part we can convert this to a macro Oh, not this two function. Okay. Uh, UI. And then where well, after we load this just for testing. Update uh, UI. Let's call this. It's the error. Can't convert this to a function because we need this uh, parameter. Let me undo this. Right. And then here, I just want to see the value. So get attribute. It can play attribute value. Right. I just call this. Oh, this is the hard function. No. And I call this function. Oh, we can do we use this part. Instead of new hand, I just put this. No, maybe we should give it a second. So, is to a function. Let's call it fresh UI. I will not call it here. We'll call it in the begin play if this is the player here. Family layer. Seconds. And fresh viewpoint. Yeah, this. Now it loads correctly. And also, I can see my character's level also appears here. So, wait, wait a second. I can automatically put the character level also here. I actually have a function to show my character level. Somewhere here, yeah, this part. The UI. the character level also should appear automatically all right now as you can see everything is the save and load team of uh, actor attributes are working so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments see you in the next episode goodbye